These are the five underreported stories that you need to know. So a student at City College in New York City sent text messages threatening to shoot up the school. And you're probably like, hooray, finally the police did their job and like stopped a mass shooting. And if you thought that, you'd actually be wrong because the 21 year old was released from jail without bail almost immediately. A new investigation uncovered that Stacey Abrams, who's like the crazy fake Georgia governor woman, her nonprofit purchased million dollar properties shortly before the organization hired half of its leadership staff citing lack of funds. Stacey Abrams may be a loser, but my goodness, I love reporting on her because she is a fascinating loser. New York City Mayor Eric Adams announced that the city is going to be involuntarily hospitalizing mentally ill homeless people. And while it sounds compassionate and like it's going to clean up the city, I don't, something about it just rubs me the wrong way. Like to me, it's wild that a government can just snatch you up on the side of the road because they declare you mentally ill. I don't know, what do you think of this? Drop a comment and let me know. Do you think that people should just be allowed to be institutionalized by the state? Next, a protester attacked the flagship London's door of Balenciaga. This was in response to the whole child pedophile porn thing. A street artist wrote the words pedophilia across the retailer's window. Someone put this entire Balenciaga ordeal so eloquently to me. If Balenciaga had offended the LGBT community, I guarantee you that every single Hollywood celebrity that has a problem with that would have dropped Balenciaga like that. So why is that same energy not given to child safety over child pornography video shoots? And finally, Secret Service rented five cars to take the president and his family around for his Thanksgiving holidays. And I just heard this that on Monday, five of those cars exploded. They just burst into flames. And I am not okay with this because I personally am in the keep Joe a lie camp because I truly don't want to live in a world where there's a president Kamala Harris.